In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at integrating with PayPal Websites Payment Standard. PayPal offers both Website Payment Standard and Website Payments Pro as options to integrate with their payment processing network. Website Payment Standard is free, while Website Payments Pro requires an application process and then approximately a $30 monthly fee. The benefit to using Website Payments Pro is that the end user can purchase directly from your site without ever being redirected to PayPal. Most frequently, our customers will use Website Payment Standard, and this tutorial shows how to integrate that with LogiForms. Let's start by looking at what you need to set up on your PayPal account. First, you will need to ensure that you have verified your PayPal account before proceeding. Once that's done, log into your PayPal account and click on the Profile link. Under Selling Preferences, click on Website Payment Preferences. In order for PayPal to integrate with LogiForms, you need to enable Auto Return for Website Payments. Click the On Radio button next to Auto Return. In the Return URL, enter http colon slash slash forms.logiforms.com. Scroll down to the Payment Data Transfer option and click the On Radio button. PayPal will display your payment identity token and be sure to copy that token as you'll need to input it in Logiforms. Note, if it doesn't show here, it will show in the next page. The rest of the settings are optional. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save. Again, if the identity token wasn't displayed earlier, PayPal may indicate the payment identity token here. Be sure to copy it, as you'll need it in Logiforms. Now let's switch back to Logiforms and look at that side of the integration. We've got a simple order form set up and open in the form designer. It has a product selection dropdown, a quantity dropdown, and a calculation to arrive at a total cost. If you're curious about how the calculation was written, See our tutorial on bindings and calculations. What we want to do now is integrate this form with a PayPal account. Click Post Processing and choose Third Party Integrations. Select Add Profile. Select Website Payment Standard and click Next to move through the wizard. On the General Settings page, give the profile a name and enter the identity token collected in the previous step. Enter your PayPal email address. If you're using a PayPal Sandbox account, as we are in this example, change test mode to true. The next setting, Deferred Email Delivery, requires a bit of explanation. This setting controls when the notification and autoresponder emails are delivered. When a user completes your form and hits Submit, a new record is created and stored in your database. This is before the user is redirected to PayPal. If the Deferred Email Delivery option is not set to true, your autoresponders and notifications will execute. The user is then redirected to PayPal where they can complete the purchase. After the purchase has been completed, the user is returned to Logiforms and your autoresponders and notifications execute again. In most cases, you'll want to set deferred email delivery to true so that your autoresponders and notifications only run once after the PayPal transaction has been completed. Keep in mind, however, that if the user closes the browser before completing payment at PayPal, no emails will be sent. The PayPal payment page settings include various PayPal options and settings for the payment page. For our example, let's leave the default options. The PayPal return settings page describes where the user will be redirected after a transaction is completed or canceled. In order for autoresponders and notifications to run after a PayPal transaction, you must leave the return to Logiforms field set to yes. The cancel URL is the URL the user will be redirected to if they cancel out of the purchase midway. Typically, you'll enter your website URL. The field mapping page tells PayPal which field on your form contains the order amount quantity and description values that are used in the purchase. You can point to fields on your form or enter static values that will be the same for all form submissions. Note that the total dollar amount value will be multiplied by the quantity. So if you have a calculation on your form that already calculates the total including the quantity, then you will want to set the quantity to a default static value of 1. The Purchase Description field is the description of the purchase being made. Tax and shipping can include values from your form or the default settings from your PayPal account. Your users will be able to make a purchase through PayPal even if they do not have a PayPal account. If a new user wants to create a PayPal account, you can provide any of the values that have been already entered on your form to PayPal to pre-populate the new user setup form. This step is totally optional and provided to make the process of creating a new PayPal account faster and easier. In our example, we're going to leave it as is and click Finish to complete the setup. 
Your PayPal profile is now complete. When the user submits your form, they will be instantly directed to PayPal, where they can complete the purchase. PayPal will send back the transaction results and it will all be recorded in your web-based database. Let's try a test submission and see how it works. Click the preview button to launch the live form in a new window. Fill out the fields and click Order Now. We are redirected to PayPal where we can log in and complete the purchase. Complete the steps in PayPal to finish the purchase. After the purchase has been made, the autoresponders are executed. Back in Logiforms, let's take a look at the data that gets saved in the database. You'll see the record that was just submitted. A number of fields were added automatically when we created the PayPal integration profile. These fields include all the information returned from PayPal. Logiforms and PayPal have tight integration and communicate by direct server interaction to ensure a smooth transaction and that your local Logiforms database is kept up to date. For information on setting up autoresponder and notification profiles to work with PayPal and other tips and tricks, see our video tutorial library and in-depth user manual.